What's up YouTube, Fanta here with my review for Pokemon Sun and Moon. This game is awesome. This is definitely one of my top three Pokemon games. And that's saying a lot because I've played every single one of them. Now, I, I don't know where to start with this game. There's just so much I want to talk about. Um, I just want to start off with saying that the new area, the new region is great. I love the beach, the shops, and just the overall feel of the Alola region. I, I like the feeling of being in Hawaii. I mean, who who doesn't? Um, it, I, I think it was a very unique choice. Instead of just generic land number 53, they chose um, a lot more of kind of an interesting place to go. And with that, you can see a lot of interesting Pokemon, and I also love the new Pokemon that have uh, different, not only new Pokemon, but the Pokemon that are changed from their original forms. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, there's a bunch of the original Pokemon that have actually had their forms changed because they're the Alola region. And they even have some backstory as to why they're changed that way. And you can look that up. I'm not gonna explain that, but it's, it's really cool what they did with some of these. Some of them look stupid, but most of them look amazing. Same goes for the new Pokemon as well. Most of them look great. Some of them are really boring or lame looking, like the Donald Trump mongoose thing. But we do have the new Rattata, which I think looks pretty cool. He's kind of got like that dark fur, and he's a dark normal now. The Raticate looks kind of stupid. He's got like this, like the puffy cheeks. Raichu looks pretty awesome. He's now electric and psychic. That's so cool. And he's floating on his tail, which is even cooler. We've got Sandshrew, which is Ice and Steel now, and Sandslash looks frickin' awesome. Um, Vulpix looks cool, Ninetales looks awesome. I do like the original Ninetales more, but I do- I still like this one. Diglett looks about the same, but Doug Trio looks like a bunch of surfer dudes that were kinda buried from the neck up. So that's- that's kinda funny to me. Meowth looks a lot more feminine, and Persian just looks stupid. I mean, look at- look at this thing. Something went wrong here. I love the new forms of Geodude, Graveler, and Golem. And the fact that the Rock Electric is also really cool. I- <laughs> It's so funny, he's got like this beard and mustache combo, and I don't know what the hell's going on up here. It kinda looks like a pincher. Um, could be some sort of magnetized looking thing right there. I think it looks cool. Even Grimer and Muck look pretty cool. They look like kind of RuneScape items. Like these look like the RuneScape boots. Executor looks awesome. I love him as a palm tree, like a taller palm tree, since I guess he sort of kind of is already. And then Marowak looks awesome with the green flame bone. It's just, oh, so awesome. A fire and ghost type now. Love it. So like I said, most of the new Pokemon uh, alternative types are awesome. And I love a lot of the new Pokemon. I love the new starters. The only thing I don't like is the final form of the cat. I think it's kind of weird. He turns into a dude. I actually, I don't like the final form of the... the... These are, of course, very subjective, but it's a review, so obviously it is. Um, I do like the, the final form of the owl, hence why I chose the owl, Rowlet. Pokemon battles and the animations in the Pokemon battles are amazing still. I love the 3D graphics they're using for these games. They are going to age well, I know. And just, it looks great. I, I think the game itself looks great. So let's let's go ahead and just run through some of the new features because that's pretty important. This guy's funny looking, by the way. Um, there's a, quite a few people that look like him. Looks like some dad that just wandered out and was like, I want to be a Pokemon trainer. The so new features are, this is kind of a small feature, but it's huge in my opinion. The Pokeball option is on the main menu now. So if you look at the top left of the top left of that bottom screen, you can see that it's got the little Pokemon emblem there, and a, I think it's Y. So if you hit Y, it immediately pulls up your Pokeballs, so you can just catch it right away. You don't have to go through a bunch of stupid menus, and this makes it a lot more fun to catch Pokemon, because you're not have to keep flipping through menus, picking the Pokeball, and then throwing it, and it doesn't work, and then you gotta look at all the damn menus again, and then you throw the Pokeball. And that's a pain in the ass. I like that you just push one button, you're there, you throw it, and you're done. I love it. The map actually shows you where to go now. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are like, Oh, but you're not supposed to... You need to find your way there yourself. I mean, there's really not that many routes 
in Pokemon. It, they tell you where to go. Um, but if I like put down my Pokemon game for a while, I don't remember what I was doing. I had that happen in Ruby. I don't. I didn't remember where to go. I spent an hour and a half to two hours just trying to figure out what route I was supposed to take, what gym I left on. I mean, I looked at my badges, but I couldn't tell. So I tried to get to the gym, and I couldn't get there. There's a certain event I had to do, so I had to take another route. I went all the way around the map, and then I went to something else, and then I finally did that event, and then I had to go all the way around again, and then I had to get rid of the thing that was blocking my path, and it was just a pain in the ass. And they did away with that now. Um, most of the time, now sometimes I've noticed it doesn't do this, but most of the time it'll tell you where your objective is on the map, which is awesome. I'm so glad they did that. People can say it's hand-holding, whatever. I like it. And if you've fought a Pokemon before, you will actually know which moves are effective. So as you can see in the bottom screen, some of the moves said effective next to it. It's because I've fought this Pokemon before, so I know which moves work. Now a lot of people are also going to be griping about this, I'm sure. Oh, it makes the game too easy! No, I just don't want to have to remember every single freaking move to use against somebody. If I've used them before, if I've already fought this Pokemon before, I obviously have experience. I just don't want to have to memorize all that. That's a lot. I don't want to have to look on Google. Oh, what do I need to do here? I keep getting my ass kicked. So this just kind of makes it easier. Now, one thing I will agree with, I think this should be an option. If people do want to go the hardcore route and they want to experience it like a classic Pokemon game. They should just have an on and off switch in the menu. You don't want those things telling you where to go on the, the map. Turn that off. If you don't want it telling you which ones are effective, turn that off. But unfortunately, I haven't found that option yet. They could update it in the future, I don't know. Uh, it's not a huge thing. I'm, I'm personally not a huge hardcore Pokemon gamer. I just like playing it for fun. I'm usually watching a TV show or doing something else. It's just a fun game. And they've also... There's so many changes in this game. Uh, island challenges, including battling boss-like Pokemon, and Kahunas now exist instead of gyms. So you still get something kind of like a badge you get crystals in instead of a badge and there is also z crystals that you get which improve the move um like if you get an electric z crystal it'll improve an electric move on your pokemon and it does this crazy new animation now they're a little bit a little bit too long but it's not a big issue i, I kind of like watching the animations anyway and uh but i found myself not really using the z moves very often just because I don't really see a point. It's kind of like the, the Mega Evolutions. It's just kind of a neat new addition that you don't need to use necessarily, but later on in the harder bosses, you're gonna you're gonna want to. Also, something that I'm so happy they did is they have Pokemon, they have the Pokey Riding option. Or the, the, it's, not, it's not an option, the Pokey Riding feature where you actually have this little, I think it's, I don't know if it's a watch, or like it's, like a, it's a thing, you have a thing, and it lets you call Pokemon to you. So you don't need an HM slave anymore. If you don't know what an HM slave is, it's a Pokemon you keep in your party, you teach it the moves that you need to progress through the game, like Rock Smash, Cut, Fly, Surf, all those kind of things. Those moves are gone. So you don't have to worry about that anymore, so you just get a Lapras that you can just summon at any time to go in the water. You get a Tauros to break through rocks. You get um, the new the dog thing um, if you need to sniff out secret items. There's a bunch of different ones and they all do different things. So you don't have to worry about having that extra useless Pokemon in your roster that you don't actually use. Something that I also like about this game is that it does give you the EXP share right away again. Just like X and Y. I'm not sure if any other games have done it that soon, but pretty much immediately in the game you get that EXP share. A lot of people think this is cheating, they think it's dumb, but I personally, I, I don't like throwing out the weak Pokemon and then immediately taking it back and throwing out the stronger one so that one gets XP. That's It's dumb to me. I think it's, it's, it's just grinding for the sake of grinding. I don't mind a grind, but I don't want to, I don't know, I, I don't know how to explain it, I just don't like doing that. So I'm glad the XP share is there, but you can always just turn it off so you don't have to have it continually going if you don't want to. If you just want to level a specific Pokemon, you just turn it off. I just wanted to mention that real quick because that is going to be an issue for some people. I like it. If you don't like it, don't use it. There's the Pokey writing, by the way. There's the dog. 
I think the dog looks cool. It's like a uh, like a Yorkie Schnauzer mix type thing. And more than likely, I'm forgetting other things as well. I'm sure the online features are improved. I saw this like a new mini game. I haven't done all the online stuff. I'm gonna be honest. And oh, I forgot to mention. The new enemy of the game is the stupidest enemy ever. They're so annoying. They're like gangster wannabes. They're like pretending to rap. They're going like this. And they're like dancing in the middle of a battle. And you're just, you're, oh, it's so cringeworthy. They're lines and this guy's like your, um, he's like your rival. But I'm not going to spoil anything else about that if you do care about the story. But oh my god, Team Skull is the worst. Where's Team Rocket, by the way? I don't... Somebody explain to me in the comments where Team Rocket went. I'd be fine if they brought back, like, Team Rocket, but a Lola version. Maybe they're all, like, I don't know, surfer-looking guys. I don't... I don't know what they could be. So anyway, that's what I thought of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Love the game, highly recommend it. If you guys are thinking about picking it up for yourself or somebody for the holidays and you're like, I don't... Ugh, Pokemon could be getting old and stale. It's not. I assure you, I've just been dumping hours after hours in this game. Every single time a new Pokemon comes out, I am hooked for a couple of months. And then I'll forget about it, and then I'll go traveling, and then I'll get hooked again. And then randomly all my roommates will get hooked again. It's crazy. It's like a, a weird sickness that happens in my house. Like, one of us will start playing it, and then all of us will just start playing it for a couple months. We did that with X and Y on and off for, I think, like a year or two. So yeah, definitely worth the pickup. Uh, if I had to rate it on a number scale, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. It's it's great. It's a great game. Uh, leave a comment down below if you're going to be picking up Pokemon Sun and Moon, and if you have already, let me know what you think of it. Um, and like I said, Fantavision, check it out. It's, it's pretty awesome, and I try to post almost every day. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a fantastic day.